A student of mine told me a very interesting story that happened with her mother. It's more than an interesting story. It's a compelling story. Her mother was diagnosed with a terrible disease, a terrible disease. And she was also given, as doctors are apt to do, a, uh, a prognosis, which means the doctors played prophets and decided how long she would live. And her daughter, who was a Lubavitcher and a Balas Tshuva, wrote to the Rebbe. And uh, there was a bracha from the Rebbe. Afterwards, this woman's mother went back for another exam, which was supposed to be preliminary for her surgery. And the illness was gone, just gone. It was an incredible miracle, a revealed, obvious uh, hand of God, as it were. So when the parents called their daughter living in New York to inform her of what had happened, she became very, very excited, and she started to scream on the phone, Mom, it's a miracle! God performed a miracle! These, of course, were not particularly religious people. They were quite secular, but there was no denying that an incredible miracle had occurred. It was overwhelming. A woman who, a week earlier, was told she has so many months to live is suddenly totally healthy and needs no medical attention and no intervention of any sort. I don't know how long it took, but it was several weeks, and uh, the miracle was denied. <laughs> they didn't say a miracle didn't happen. It was like, well, maybe there was a mistake in the x-ray. There were all kinds of explanations and stories. And, um, and th that incredible excitement and sense of loyalty and uh, recognition of the hand of God and of a miracle dissipated quite quickly. Now, I don't think these people were religious atheists. I don't think these people had an issue against recognizing God. I just think it's the nature of miracles. Miracles are unbelievable. That's the very nature of, the, of a miracle. So at first, they give us an incredible punch. They, they have a very powerful effect on us. But things that are unbelievable, we tend to not believe they happened. I think it's part of human nature. In other words, when a miracle occurs, and miracles are not only special events, they're, they're revelations of God and opportunities to celebrate Him. Because they overwhelm, because they're unbelievable, we quickly forget them and we lose our belief in the miracle. Not because we're bad, not because we're sinister, not because we're devious, not because we're skeptical, but because we just don't believe it. And uh, this is the topic we're going to be exploring this week. The upside and the downside of a miracle. 